Hello, it's Christina Rowe here from Standout Media Group. And in these videos, I'm going to teach you how to make a simple opt in funnel using ClickFunnels. So basically, what you need to do is have a ClickFunnels account, and I have a link that will give you a free two week trial. And once you log in, they even have now, you can even do their training, which is log in every day to play the ClickFunnels game. So I'll just show you this. I had clicked on it. And they have a challenge here where they're going to give you free stickers and maybe um, some other goodies and stuff to each time you complete a certain step. So here there's all different instructions over here um, that you can do. So you, you can do it that way. If you just want to get to it and really put up a funnel really quickly, ClickFunnels is very user friendly. Um, it's very simple. It's gotten even better recently. So we just go, we've logged in. I want to make this as easy as possible. You get your click funnel account and then you log in and once you log in you're going to see this button here which says funnels and we're going to just click on build a funnel and once we click on this we're going to see all these options down here now this is new also introducing the funnel hackers cookbook get the funnel cookbook and I'll just quickly click this here because this is brand new and you can actually download this here and they have a video here so that's pretty cool and we'll just see what that's about okay so you can actually get a, a free funnel click book uh, funnel hackers click funnels cookbook okay so let me go back to where we were going here so you're gonna see that depending on when you're watching this video so now really simply this is new this interface here they've just up upgraded this which I really like because it's making things even more easier and like I say ClickFunnels is a phenomenal product I love it been using it for over a year I have all my sites on here um, you will also notice I do uh, also promote Builderall Builderall is also um, a very good product it is not as easy as ClickFunnels um, that's why I made some very detailed videos as well if you want to build an opt-in funnel in Builderall. Difference is going to be in pricing and ease of use. Builderall is fairly new, so there's some you know uh, things I need to iron out and um, where ClickFunnels has been around a little longer and they are continuing to improve stuff. But there's a difference in price. ClickFunnels is $97 a month, Builderall is only $29 a month. Um, if you don't want any hassles and aggravation and you just want to, um, and you have the money in your business, I would say go with ClickFunnels if you're just starting out and $97 a month is just too much right now. You really do still need an opt-in funnel. Um, watch my Builderall videos. I think those will be really helpful. Follow them to a T. I'm even going to be giving out free funnels for both of these that you can just actually tweak. Um, so either way, you're good, but definitely use one of these two systems is what I'm, I'm recommending right now. Okay, so here we are back to here. This is super cool because we've got here industry type. So let's just say you're an author, speaker, or a coach. So let's click on that. And let's look at all the different things we can do here. Now, we, these are a lot of different types of funnels, but if you're new to ClickFunnels and you're building your very first funnel and you want to do a simple opt-in funnel, meaning a lead generation funnel where you're going to be giving away something in order for someone's email address, we are going to see here, it's called the squeeze page funnel. Um, I've always, from years ago, when I've been in online marketing now for 11 years, we used to always call these squeeze pages, which I'm surprised to see it being used again. Um, it's turned into opt-in funnel and uh, lead, gen you know, lead generation, lead magnet, all sorts of names. But here again, it's squeeze funnel. So use curiosity to generate leads with this simple two-page funnel. So all we're going to do, and there's actually here, I think there might even be a video there, but we're just going to select the funnel. Okay, now this is impressive. They're actually giving you here step-by-step um, -step instructions with a video on how to make a squeeze page, which is super cool. Okay, so there's a video here with Russell Brunson, and let's just watch it. Check out 
All right, very cool. So Russell just explained it, so I didn't have to. Okay, so very easy. There's even a funnel map here. Uh, I'm seeing some of this for the first time. This is brand new, guys. I'm just logging into ClickFunnels. I mean, this is probably in the last, I think, uh, couple days that this has all come out. So now we're going down here, and this is a lot different than when I had just last week, a week and a half ago, made a funnel. This is even yeah, about a week ago. This is all different stuff here. So we've got here different uh, templates. We've got free ones. We have ones you can buy, just ready-made, done for you, which is pretty cool. And we want free. Okay, so we've got all paid or free. So let's go with free. And let's see if, I guess I'm not freaking sure if we can preview these or not, but it's actually showing you the different pages in here. So we want just to have a basic funnel that's going to collect email addresses. Um, so this one, is called um, squeeze page funnel. They're all squeeze page funnels. Here's a blank one. So let's just take a look here and go with this one here. Just nice and simple. And if you're not tech savvy, you want to keep things extremely, extremely simple. Um, I have a habit because I've been doing this for 11 years where I like love to change everything. I change colors and backgrounds and sometimes I get myself in trouble in different systems doing this because you can kind of break codes and stuff too. But um, you need to keep it simple. If you're new and you're not tech savvy, just, you know, don't worry. It doesn't have to be gorgeous. It has to be functional. So this is called Rosie the Squeeze Funnel. And this would be the page one that you're going to get that you can customize. And then here is a thank you page. So that's what this one looks like. So we're just taking a look at these. Okay, let's go take a look at this one now. This one here is a different colors and it's got a different background and you can use this as well learn how to make money online and this would be what you're getting on your thank you page good for an ebook good for a video good for a training so let's go back here and finally let's see this one's just blank and let's just see what this means by being blank and let's see if it's just absolutely blank yeah i think this is just if you want to start from scratch which we don't want to do if you don't have experience with this and we'll take a look at this one as well Okay, and so here's a squeeze page, typical squeeze page that we're going to have um, just basically a headline and um, a background here, which is nice and simple. So let's just go and look at one more, which would be this one. And let's check this out. And this one looks like this. Okay, I'm going to choose this one because I like the three different um, you know, reasons why people should join or take your free offer. And it's got a nice thank you page here. So let's just go get the funnel. Okay, so it's going right into my ClickFunnels account. Now, this has been very easy so far, right? Extremely easy. We just logged in, we click Build Funnel, we were given different options, and boom, my funnel is here. So I'm going to explain this in the most simplest terms possible without um, trying to get you overwhelmed because this is pretty easy to do. Um, there's things that you can do with changing URLs and this, and we're not going to do any of that. We're not going to even talk about that because that's more advanced. We're just going to keep this very basic. So this is the first page, and this is the second page. And these two pages work together, just like in the video Russell explained. So this is the thank you page here. So we're going to now just go in here and customize um, this right here. So we're going to go here. And we're going to click on this big button here where it says edit page. And we're going to go here and we're going to just look at this and boom, there we go. Okay, so all you do here is you edit. Now, let's the first thing I would do on editing this, which I always do, which you don't have to do, you can use this nice background, but say you don't want to, um, you can go right here, you go to settings, scroll down to background. Okay, and this is, um, it's saying the background color is this color. Now this could be a little tricky, because it's not showing the image URL on here. Sometimes that's not where you find the background. So let's just leave this as it is right now. 
So there's two ways to find, to customize it. I didn't see the actual picture in there, so I'm not going to click on it. Another thing to do is click funnels. If you see me hovering over, these are all containers and elements. You can see me hovering over them all. Um, here is another setting. So you've got the main settings, and then you've got here. So see it says background image. This is actually where the background image is. So I'm going to click on this. And because I just can't help myself, I always have to, with my bad habit, change things. I'm going to find just a random, well, actually, let's just throw this random image up. I'm going to throw this image here. I'm going to click on it, add image, and there it is. Okay, now I can fill it all the way, or I can actually do some of these things here. So let's just see how that looks here. Okay, so now I've changed that, and um, if I want to move it around a little bit, like I said, i got to hover, see it's disappeared, hover over here for the green, and I'm going to see if I want to do it this way, or make it look a little different. There we go, perfect. So I change it to full 100% width and height. Okay, there we go. Now I like that, that looks nice. So next thing I want to do now is this background here, again, the green is, is the top. If you see this green color, these containers are your top containers here to control the backgrounds that you see here. So I'm going to go here, and there's that color. I want to change that color. Um, I want to use uh, something that's, that I like to use. So the recently used colors are not coming up. I'm going to click there. And I'm not really liking those. One of the things I do, I'm just going to grab a color code here. This is what I mean by me being picky. You do not have to do this. I'm just going to grab the color that I like, that I use in my branding. And if you have your code, you can do the same thing. But you can pick any of the colors that are already there. You don't have to do this. And I'm going to change it here. There we go. That's the pink I like. I love the white. Perfect. Okay, so I'm also going to want to go here. Nope, see, I just right-clicked on it. I'm going to go here now. Now we have these elements here, which I'm going to click Settings. And now we've got Text Color and Bold Color. So I'm going to just switch these both to my nice hot pink color here because I like it. I want to see. i got to put bold. If I don't do bold, it's not going to show up. There we go. I think that looks really nice. Um, and this button now, the first thing I'm going to do is again, I'm going to go here and I want to find this button color and I want to make it pink. So now my colors are good. What I want to do is as I go along, I always want to click over here and save my work. And now all it would be a matter of um, right here, I can change my logo. So I can go in here. And I don't know if I have a logo handy here. Let me see, is this so much stuff in here? Um, that's got a tr You want to have a logo. If you're going to do a logo here, you're going to want to have something that doesn't have a background. So I'm just going to go and uh, pick this uh, pink, even though it's not a logo, this image here. There we go. You see how that is? Um, doesn't have any background. If you have a white background, it's going to show up. And then I'm going to... Um, change the text. That's all I need to do now. And I and down here, it's important to, again, I'm hovering over. You'll see there's different boxes. We've got basically in ClickFunnels, you're going to have your green box, which is the first, I would say, they're calling it sections and rows. It's green. Then you have this orange that's controlling the text. This one's orange. The main frame that these are in the, which would be, um, I would call it like on columns, rows, and sections, would be blue. So you can kind of see here, uh, when you want to manage your rows, you can see, and you can put your eye on and see what they're, which one it is here. So, but we're just sticking to the basics here, and this is where your text is going to go. So basically, I would put three bullet points in here. I would leave these little little icons, those are cute three reasons, three benefits um, for my funnel, uh, a headline, and as we scroll down, um, I notice whatever I did that I lost my button for opting in. Did you notice that? So if you make a mistake like this, no problem. Um, nope, that's not the way to do it. We, I want to go back here 
that would take you out of it. But I actually want to do, usually you can do an, um, a reset or an edit on here. So somehow I got rid of my, um, the nice box I had here for an opt-in. And that's not going to go back. Okay, so if, say this happens to you and you're freaking out. This is actually good that this happened because we did have here an opt-in that said go. And whatever I did while I was talking to you, I wasn't paying attention, um, I deleted it somehow. So if you get into this situation here, don't panic. All you need to do is when you click on this orange, it makes a new element. So I'm going to hover over, click new element. And I'm going to look in here and I'm going to add in a sign up. So I'm looking through all the, just to give you an idea, here's all the different um, elements here. I can even do um, a pop up, um, but I'm going to want to do a button. And I can do right here, click here to sign up. And again, I can change that because we did change the button color. So I'm not sure where my button went. So I'm going to click here. And notice I'm right clicking because I've been working a lot in Builder All today. And in that system, you right click. Okay, there we go. And I could change the text on this button by simply going here and clicking here. And I could do the font sizes and make the button bigger like that. Okay. All right. So there we go. Um, I'm going to stop the video now. This is the first page. I'm going to start a new video so we don't get confused. A really good tip. If you've watched this all the way through once, um, it's under 20 minutes right now. What I want you to do is go back and at each step, keep the video on, open on one page of your browser and actually work alongside of the video. Stop. This is how I've always learned how to do things. I would just stop the video, do what the person said, go back to the video, back and forth, back and forth until it was done. That's the easiest way to do it. So I'm just going to click save here and I will see you in the next video.